Welcome, Jason from Zep Labs. Big round of applause. All right. Ready? All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jason Fass. I'm the CEO of Zep Labs, and joining me today is our CTO, my good friend, Robin Hahn. Now, at Zep, we love data. And like hundreds of millions of people around the world, we're insanely passionate about sports. In fact, our mission is to radically improve the way people practice, play, and experience the sports they love. So today, we're announcing our new multi-sport platform. And it starts with this tiny yellow sensor right here. Now, despite it weighing only six grams, it's packed with technology and capable of recording 1,000 data points per second for all of your sports. In addition to this sensor, today we're announcing the first three sports on our platform, baseball, golf, and tennis. Now, as you can see, we're all set up for a baseball demo today. And to help us with that, we've asked one of our sport advisors to come up on stage. So please welcome six-time Gold Glove winner, JT Snow. Hey. Now, this is going to seem a little crazy, but we actually didn't ask JT to come on stage to hit a ball because there's someone in the audience that we really want to see what he's got. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Calicanus, <laughs> you're up. So let me explain how this is going to work. I'm going to, I'm going to turn I, on the sensor. I feel like I'm going to die. Am I going to die? Okay, I'll take the bat. Okay, I got it. Here. Do not let go of this the worked every time in rehearsal. <laughs> Jason was great. At the end of the bat here is a simple rubber mount. It's included with the sensor in the kit. Turn the sensor on. It's connected via Bluetooth to the phone that Robin's controlling. We're going to simply slide it in the mount here. And we're ready to go. Robin? Ready to go. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. you're up. Okay. We're actually going to put a ball on the tee for you. It's important to your judges that you don't hit them. <laughs> right Very here, important. buddy. Right it might here. be important. Maybe we just sort yeah, of. Maybe. Mukin. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah. So. Don't worry, Molly. It's going to be okay. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, pause for one second there at the top. Let's, let's see what you got. All right. Okay. Not bad. Not so bad. Not bad. We're going to do one more shot. One more shot, okay. Pick it up. What's that? Three? Good. It's just three. It's three well, that was actually Jason hitting the ground, but. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. I think I, I hit it a full three miles per hour. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> one more time? Okay. Yep. Well, the light's on. Okay. That's good. That's okay. a good thing. Okay, take your time. All right, so here is. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Huh? Beautiful. So, for the first time in the history of baseball, you just saw it, a digitally captured swing in 3D. We captured over 1,000 data points and we plot that. Now, you can see his bat path, you can see his bat plane, and you can move around this model in 360 degrees. Now, imagine you had a camera above Jason's head and we wanted to take a look at that. Simply swipe your finger change that point of view. Now, this is a very helpful tool if you're a little league player or even a professional athlete trying to get a picture of what your swing looks like. Now, there's another big number there at the screen, 58 miles an hour, and I thought we'd ask JT, as a player, <laughs> what does that number mean? How, how is that helpful? Well, to hit a ball far, it's all about bat speed. The faster you can swing the bat, hit it on the barrel, hit it out front, the farther the ball is going to go. So anything we do in sports, pitching, throwing a baseball fast is arm speed, hitting a baseball far or hard is bat speed. So we're trying to get as much bat speed as we can. And what we can do is we can register so that kids, players, professionals know their optimum bat speed. And Jason can explain as he goes down the dashboard here, but time in the zone is how long your bat is in the hitting zone. So super helpful numbers, right? And as a player, JT can talk about they've never had these numbers before, even at the professional level. Never, anything like this. And I can tell you, if, if I did, I would have been a, a much better hitter because I would have known um, my, my bat speed, everyone's going to be different, but my optimal bat speed and how far the ball goes off my bat 
hitting is all feel, like any sport. So I would know in my head the bat speed I'm searching for, and you got it right here. So I'm sure the audience is wondering, the judges are wondering, I know you're wondering, how does this stack up? And you know, perhaps we're wondering, how might it stack up against, say, I don't know, World Series MVP Pablo Sandoval? Yeah, I would be wondering actually that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pablo, why don't you come on out? <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how this is going to go down, Jason. I'm sure you're going to do great. Three out of four, 100 bucks. Yeah, 100 bucks. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Pause for that brief second. Rip it into the net. Now we are going to die. No, no, now we're not going to die. I'm going to switch back to the phone there. We got that swing. We want to see one more. Pablo, you want one more shot? <laughs> it's 63. All right, MVP, here I come. Oh. Oh. All right, 64. So, now I know we could do this all day. You want another one? All right, all right. All right. All right. Those are warm ups. There. <laughs> All right, 66. Nice, man. Thank you. All right, so we've also built a comparison engine into all of our apps. And right now we're going to compare Pablo's swing with Jason's awesome swing. And we're going to see those overlaid in 3D. And you can move around them in 360 degrees. We can bring up the dashboard view. And here you get a side-by-side -side comparison, World Series MVP, to Jason Calacanis, which he may find very helpful in his batting practice. <laughs> or not. I'm coming for you. So, now, <laughs> listen, we, we had a feeling it was going to go down this way. Um, before Pablo runs to catch a flight, we got you a gift. Uh, first, every Sandoval fan needs a panda hat. <laughs> and we got you a ball signed by Pablo, and it says, better luck next time. <laughs> All right, Pablo, Thank thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for not killing me. <laughs> okay, so that concludes the baseball demo. But as I mentioned, set this down. we're also launching and announcing other sports on our platform. In fact, Zep Golf will be available soon. Complete swing analysis by putting the exact same sensor right on your glove. Really helpful metrics, 3D capture, as well as that color-coded dashboard towards your goals. And for the first time ever in tennis, we're releasing a sensor you simply put on the bottom of your racket, and we will automatically record all of your forehands, backhands, break it down by top spin, slice, flat, power profile across your whole match play. In fact, we can store 200,000 swings on this sensor. Now, these products are moving along. They're going to retail for $149.99. We already have purchase orders for some of the biggest retail channels in the world, names you've heard of. Packaging is done. Products are ready to go. They will be available in stores next month, November. So the reason we're here today, we love the launch conference. We love everything that Jason does for startups. So far to date, we've gotten to where we, have, where we are, raising less than $7 million. We recently closed our Series A round of $5 million with Legend Capital. And now, this massive opportunity that's in front of us, we want to raise a, a really nice Series B of 15 to $20 million. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ZEP, and we're going to change sports forever. Thank you. Uh, to my judges, uh, first of all, what did you think of my swing? I mean, I, I, that was pretty great, I, I felt. I was pretty impressed by how close you were to the 
to the pro. Yeah, and I was just getting warmed up. Um, but David, <laughs> what did you uh, what did you think uh, of the product, the presentation? Go ahead, you first. I, I love this. I, I love this product, and I've had this Thanks, issue with uh, with golf before trying to work on my golf swing. It's it's an old sport, but it still exists. Um, I wonder why you decided to go after three sports at once, though. That seems like a pretty big yeah, bite good to question. Take off. We actually have a product in the market today called Golf Sense. Uh, we have global distribution. Um, we're in every Apple store in the world, every Verizon store in the United States, um, and so. What we heard from customers was they wanted to take this technology and bring it to other sports. And so we looked at it, and that's exactly the motion engine that we built, and now is the, the next phase of our company. And that's really taking our core technology and bringing it into a platform and going after multiple sports. Okay, Desney, are you next? Go ahead. So this was stunning, um, um, brilliant. Um, I think it's gonna be, a, you guys are gonna be a tough act to follow up here. A uh, couple of questions. So, so um, you sort of focused on bat speed here, but you know, as, as you sort of point out with tennis, you've got a whole bunch sure. of other metrics that go along with this. Can you say a little bit about the um, user experience and the correction and training mechanisms that you're going to pre present uh, within this package? Uh, sure, absolutely. So for golf, uh, for example, we capture, we, first we allow you to set your goals. And if you don't have your own goals, you can pick preset goals um, based on pro or amateur uh, and you had little sliders. Then we show you objective numbers. We break down critical aspects of your swing, and we show you those numbers against your goals. And we provide tips, video tips, uh, tutorials on our website on how to use our product to enhance those goals. So it's very simple. Green is good. Yellow needs improvement. Red is bad. Now, with a product like baseball, you have different numbers. So we change that motion engine a little bit. But it's all about making this data really actionable and, and meaningful for people and making the corrections very noticeable. What, uh, on what level do you sort of provide that cor those corrections? Because it's one thing to say, swing the bat faster. It's a different yeah. to say, well, put your hips in it or, or you, know, you know. Absolutely. So when we uh, launch these products, there'll be video links to uh, video databases. And over time, with the data we're collecting from each user, we can tailor the insights and the tips towards their Insurance. needs. Got it. So, product question. Um, I'm, I don't know that I'd want to look at my phone every time to get feedback. Have you Absolutely. thought about you know, maybe vibrating feedback or pairing it with some kind of wrist device that yeah, so to let you know that you've had a good swing or you need to go faster? Or good question. We, um, so there's an audible tone that lets you know that you've recorded a swing. We, just, we couldn't hear that today. So you hear a beep every time you hear you've got a swing. In the sensor, we actually have an offline mode where you can just put this sensor, say, on your tennis racket, go play. You're, you're not going to have your, ten, your, your iPhone or your Android phone with you while you're playing tennis. Just go play. When you're done, we store all that data, and you can download it. We are looking at you know, integrating with other products on the market, whether it's Google Glass, et cetera, and trying to, well, our whole goal is to get out of the athlete's way, put the technology in the background. They go do their thing, and we provide that new experience after the fact or, or when they want it. Okay, cool. So I'm an Ace fan, so I'm profoundly unimpressed. <laughs> yes. Um, just not, I'm not joking about the Ace thing, but I am joking about not being impressed. Um, so the price point is pretty good at $150, but is it, how many consumers do you think are serious enough about their... I'm not a golfer, but this, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know there's going to be some crazy little league dads who go for this, but how? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, like, oh, yes. So, um, but, you know, I mean, how many consumers do you think realistically are going to buy $100? Yeah, Molly, good Remember question. Remember the we, sensor every time. and. That's the beautiful thing about sports, right, is you're talking about a subject that people are passionate about. And it's different than steps, calories, and sleep. Like, we're talking about things that people want to improve and they're, they're really into. Just in these three sports alone, there's over 200 million athletes. In fact, in California, there's over 22,000 Little League teams. And every one of those teams, you can imagine having at least one sensor, and probably multiple, right? Every dad on that team is going to want to have it. We think this price point, leveraging the technology, the phone, or the tablet they already have, is really Pardon the pun, a home run. And is there a possibility for integration with other wearable devices? You sort of mentioned Google Glass, but could you yeah, do this without having to buy the sensor? Could you get a standalone app and then Absolutely. use Fuel well, Band? Um, we have built the core motion engine, 
Um, in fact, we, we built it so that it could take data from multiple sensors. In our golf product, we're already doing that. You can add your phone, just put it in your pocket, and use the gyroscope in your phone to measure your hip rotation. So we built the, the, the platform for that. When we looked at the market, there wasn't a multi-sport sensor out there, um, that we, so we built one. Bridget, what are your thoughts? Um, I really like the product. Um, I just started playing golf, so I think I would absolutely use it for that. I think as a consumer, though, I would love to see, you know, how the professional athletes, what their numbers are, and how I can strive right. towards that. Are you working? And those are in. Those will be in the app. We have a thing called Pro Compare. So today, if you download our Golf Sense app, you can see we have what we call reference swings, and soon those reference swings will be from names that you know. Is that going to be like an in-app purchase, like an upsell? I could buy the Tiger Woods pack. I could buy, you that know. Very reasonable uh, revenue model. Um, certainly, you know, that is, our, that is one option. Um, but right now, we're just focused on giving people really helpful data. And we have a lot, of, a lot of partnerships. A lot of the pro athletes we're talking to are just excited about the company. And they want to help. I mean, that's how we met JT. Uh, that's how we met Pablo. Um, and so we're, we think that that data is really going to help consumers. Do you have, I'm sorry, do you have an Android app available? Also, this one says it's iOS only we do. for tennis. So uh, we will be launching on iPhone, iPad, and Android. Our current Golf Sense app, uh, all three apps are available on either the App Store or Google Play. And is there a web component at all for uploading your data? And uh, not today. Everything goes through, through the mobile device mm -hmm. uh, and Bluetooth. And there will, we will launch at a later date um, our web portal. And uh, as I said, a coaching or sort of a whole platform that will enable coaches and athletes consumers. So awesome. One, one last thing I want to mention is you can take the, the sensor and almost give it to your kid like a homework assignment and tell them to go out in the backyard, hit into the net, and then you can take it and the dad or the coach can download all the swings and pick out the ones that he, that he sees are best. We, uh, I, I do some coaching with the Giants. We were over there Friday in the batting cage and all the players couldn't wait to get a hold of this and they were all swinging and uh, Hunter Pence was at 91 miles an hour. That was his fastest swing. But the guys were jumping in taking swings. The coaches thought it was a great idea. Um, like Jason said, maybe the Little League coach gets one, but then all the dads. Because you're going to be able to compare your swing and a ratio, bat speed to time in the zone, to vertical and horizontal angle of your bat to a pro, mm -hmm. and it's going to give kids something to compare to. It's awesome. Okay, let's hear it for JT and Jason. Well done. <laughs> <laughs>